What's up, YouTube? All right. So as promised, I'm gonna. I have in-game footage of my tank in gameplay, like a couple videos of it, so that we can see, you know, the whole entire duration of tanking and stuff like that. I can make separate videos for like tanking 101. I'll probably do that later. That way, by request, if anybody wants to learn how to tank, tank. But I do in-game footage of the loadout as well as explanation of loadout for rage, and I'll do some explanation I got 15 minutes on this video so we'll do some breakdown mechanics of rage and what it does uh, let me start off here let me pull up the powers all right on the left so if you like you know when you click on rage blast it talks about it if you press left on the directional pad a whole new menu comes up see where it says tank roll it says in tank roll dominance is increased by 100 percent on any tank class it does that but in rage in particular watch this using superpowers increases your health by two-thirds of your dominance for each nearby enemy so that means each time i pop anything in this loadout my health goes up two-thirds for each nearby enemy so let's say i stand here pop rage i'm standing next to this guy right my health says 20,714 is what it says. Alright. My original health is 14,269. That's my base health. So each power pops up. So let's say I pop that and then I pop a pull. Let's pop two pulls. Because I like pulling twice. 30,750. And then it just goes up and up and up. So I'll just play around real quick and we'll just pop the whole load out just to kind of you know, mess around a little bit here. And then we'll look at the overall 45,805. So each time you pop a power, depending on the ads that are next to you, it'll decrease out, just starts going down and down and down and down. All right. So basically, here's my, my loadout left to right. Let me see the name of this one move here because I have no idea what the name of this move is. I think it's violence, but we'll double check violence all right so we got violence ferocity severe punishment rage bringer ire inviscerating chain that's my loadout okay i have three immunities that i use i use ire which heals you and gains seven people at, for immunities as well as yourself that uh boosts people's precision as well or your own precision and then it gains you immunity as well as a breakout trinket it gains immunity so basically gaining immunity from being knocked down or when you're knocked down to get back up to either negate your rage crash or to stop it is what those are designed my loadout to do so let's say you're popping rage bringer i throw two pulls i pop violence all right and then you can either hit or block and then you can throw a restraining chain to stop your your crash all right so on uh, severe punishment this one I just hit I'm gonna show you when to do your rage class don't even listen to the heartbeat just watch your timer you want to pop it just over the shoulder see that little sideways V where it looks like it's 1045 you want to pop it right there just before just past the arm right at the shoulder you want to start eviscerating chain to to negate your rage crash Okay, so if you can't hear it, just watch. Just look at your, your bar and you'll be good. Okay, all right, so uh, if you used ice before, bitter winds, how it knocks people into the air and it keeps aggro on you, this does the same thing. It knocks people into the air and then see how I'm ticking on them? Any nearby enemy in a 360 degree radius will be getting ticks on them, so I'm holding aggro. So not only am I freeing myself from ads, by knocking them away from me for a split second so I can move around and breathe if I got like 50 ads on me I mean that's a bit of exaggeration so we'll say 20 ads like if you're in uh, Xamarin or something at the last boss and you need to move around because you can get surrounded and then you're stuck so it knocks them away so you can handle business real quick so I pop that I pop this I pop this I pop an immunity if I need it eviscerating chain and then you'll stop it and then I'll pop an immunity pop my rage pop my rage uh, rage bringer a couple times I'll hit a couple times pop this move pop eviscerating chain pop an immunity 
pop this, pop that. See how my immunities are spread apart? When my immunities are spread apart like that will give me a chance to use the next immunity. Pull, you know, it, it'll enable you to go through your loadout very, very easily. Let's see if I have any sodas loaded up here. So you can type soda. I guess that'll work. So, so basically the way, you know, how I have it rotated. So make sure you pop that, pop a couple pulls. Pop your violence, pop your immunity. See how it's how that's almost exactly timed to pop your mystery and chain. So by the time you do those four moves, you should be able to do eviscerate and chains no matter which one you start with. So let's say you pop it, throw a couple pulls, throw your immunity, hit a couple times, pop this, you should be ready to go. You're gonna pop your immunity, pop this. Throw a couple pulls, hit a couple times. I'm trying to gain power back, so I'm hitting so much. Eviscerating chain. Very easy to rage tank. Very effective. Just use this loadout. You'll be fine. Like you'll be like super god mode tank if you do this load loadout here, honestly. Because the way that you stagger between your immunities, it keeps you. From being knocked down as much or knocked back. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to guarantee you not to get knocked down. You're going to get knocked down at some point, but you're going to be able to uh, cycle through those immunities to be able to pop the powers to not get knocked down. So it's highly effective to use this loadout instead of like shield and all that junk. Don't even use it. Don't even bother. This move right here significantly reduces rage crash. That's why I use it. You, you hold aggro, see how it says Rage Crash is significantly reduced. So even if you fail to hit Eviscerating Chain, if you pop these moves and pop two pulls, pop this, your health with one add is 40,786. Or if it's kind of close to where I'm at, it, it'll increase it per your dominance. Two thirds of your dominance for each add. So as long as you got at least one or two adds next to you, you can almost not even have to use uh, eviscerating chain. You can pretty much purposely rage crash every time and survive. I'm not saying to do that. I mean, try to use eviscerating chain to save your healers some trouble. Other than that, though, I mean, you can pretty much if you got great trolls, you don't even need a healer. You can self-heal and self-tank yourself straight through, but you gotta be on point if you don't have a healer with you, because if you slip up, you're dead. But yeah, you can pretty much heal yourself all the way through the raid with no healer if you want to do that I wouldn't recommend it but you can but yeah that's that's my that's my tank loadout you know hope you guys enjoyed it you know I mean the explanation of it was you know short but simple teach you know, the mechanics of you know rage like I said the videos that I have watch all the videos I have on the rage you'll enjoy it they're enjoyable to watch. I mean, I, you know, the tanking that I do, especially in the hallway, on the boss, the ads I pull. I'll try to do a Zamoron video where, I, like, I got all the ads, like, all of those ads on top of me, showing you what the rage could actually do with the loadout that I got. Very useful. But that's it. You know, I mean, I got. I'm not sure how much time I got. It shows in a timer, I guess. On that point, um, I guess I could talk about some some stuff in between. Um, my loadout compared to the gear I got, the gear is kind of mixed up a little bit. But this is what I recommend that you do, mod wise. Um, straight dom on your head, straight dom on your back, chest. Uh, put the appropriate one in your chest because you want the affinity bonus for the dominance there. So don't put straight dom, put like, uh, what I'm going to put in, I'm going to put a dom power, I believe it was. Yeah, dom power right there. You got 35 dom, 177 power, I'm going to place that in my chest. The legs, don't do the bonus, because it's only 136 health, you really don't need it, you need the dom. So go straight dom, dom 6, because it's two thirds of your dom, so you want to get your dom up, okay? Straight dom here, straight dom here, straight dom here, straight dom here. Straight down here, straight down there, because that's health right there. See the affinity bonus is health. It's the only boost you get that's an off, uh, 
color is the chest. You want to put that appropriate affinity bonus color. So Dom Power. Okay, because you want to get the dominance off the mod plus the bonus. Okay, you're going to get more out of it. Okay, so that that's that's my recommendation to you. I mean, my dominance is only 3422 in this tank. Like, all the videos that you saw me tanking in that I got posted, I only had 3,000 dom, like 3,048 dom. Like, I think I opened up my menu one time, and you can see it said 3,048, 3,048 dom. And I tank love and war like it's nothing, like it's a T1 alert, <laughs> you know, with 3,000 dom. So, the higher your dom, the better, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah, fortified lock is a must. In your chest, uh, quick healing, make sure you have quick healing. Feet, deadly block. Hands, I use max damage. Throw a little bit more damage out there. Breakout trinket. If you want this trinket here, uh, you can buy it in the tier 4 vendor in the Magic Wing. I think we're in the Magic Wing now. I'll show you. As a matter of fact, on the video, I got time. So, T4 vendor. Just right over here. This one will work right here. T4 vendor. Just scroll down and see until you see the trinket. I think I passed it. Right there. That's your breakout trinket. 3,750. Marks a triumph, and you got a breakout trinket. That easy. You don't have to go through Three Scared to Divide it to get a 71 or 91 item trinket. It does the same thing. 20 seconds, 30% control resistance. It does the same thing. Stats are different, but it don't matter because it's in your utility belt. Your utility belt is where you get the stats from. You don't get it from the trinket. So it doesn't matter what you got in here. You don't get anything out of here at all. You only get these stats right there. That's the only stats you get from the trinket side. If you want these stats, get rid of your belt. If you want to get the stats off this trinket or that trinket or vice versa but why would you want to do that when you could have supply drop and orbital strike or whatever you know uh when i get the um the 97 drop trinket it'll have the uh it won't have a consumable it'll be all wild cards and here i'll put my accomplice tier three accomplice he'll shield you and give you provide you with power so it's just like an, a, a free shield while you're rage tanking so it's it's a it's a type of an, of an immunity Okay, and the type of immunity that it is is just uh, a damage negation as well as it prevents you from being knocked down slightly. Because when you're when you're shielded, you know you're protected, so it, you won't be knocked down as easy. So I mean, if you watch my uh, Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Smashing Heroes, on uh, Smashing Heroes, uh, I uh, I play all my tunes on my Twitch channel. Uh, if you watch, you know, the information I have is very useful. Some videos, I can't always cover everything because they're short. Uh, as soon as I get uh, YouTube's permission, like I've already applied to have longer videos, my videos will be longer. So I'll do longer in-game play. I'll chop up different videos. I'll put them together and give you like uh, a collage of videos that are placed together. And I'll cut and paste them. And I'll use the PlayStation 4's, uh, you know, video editing portion and post it really easy for you you know I really don't use the PC that much I got a really nice laptop I just don't really use it so I, I'm not gonna use Camtasia or nothing fancy like that to, uh, you know edit it up maybe if I become you know a little bit higher up in YouTube and, you know and I maybe get paid for it or something like that I'll uh, I'll use Camtasia make really nice solid videos and you know but as for these videos I mean they are what they are intended for knowledge for you you can you still get the knowledge from this video as you do some really nice super put together well you know renowned person on youtube like they do and they make you know all their annotations all super nice and cover thumbnails and all that stuff i mean it's nice to have but it's at the same time you're you're still getting the same thing from my video as you would any version of the other video but you know eventually i guess i'll clean it up a little bit but you know i mean they are as intended but, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, as soon as, uh, as, soon as the video's over, I'll, I'll load it up to YouTube. Uh, we'll get that going. Uh, if, if there's... Put place down in the comments. You know, I, I appreciate some comments of, you know, things that you guys want to see. Like, if you want to see me tank a specific thing or a, a, any of my other videos. If you want me to troll DPS something specific or feats. If you need a feat or something like that, I'll post a video on how to get the feat things like that or 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 an easier way to get it things like that because you know i got quite a few feats i mean i only have on my main 